So I'm here with uh, some multi carts that I thought I'd share with you guys because uh, it's been rainy, kind of where I'm at, probably where you're at too. It is winter and all. So it's a great time to play game, retro gaming, or just gaming in general. So uh, I kind of keep myself busy with these and I have Everdrives as well. But there's nothing like a nice, good multi cart that loads up in seconds. So it's pretty cool having them, and uh, this is one of them. One of them, and if you see that, it's got RoboCop, and I think that is Snow Brothers. And overall, it's a decent car. It's not too bad. And uh, I thought we'd go over it just really quick. And uh, I thought we'd go over this one as well. This is a hundred and one. I thought we'd go over that. And you can see Sunset Riders, I think. Wild Guns and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Knights of the Round, and uh, Castlevania X. So this one's pretty decent. If you're low on cash, you can get all these games for about 40 bucks. And uh, it's a very good deal because the cart works really good. Then we got this guy right here. And uh, it didn't come in this case. Uh, I had an extra Tengen game. Tengen or Tenge? Tenge. Well, Tengen. I'll just say it like that. If I'm wrong, forgive me. But it's one of those carts where... Uh, there we go. There's the brand. Tengen. Ten Gen. It might be um, pronounced another way, but... Anyways, um, I put a multi-cart inside of here. And uh, it's just not a multi-cart. There's an adapter, and it's taking it from... Um, let's see, I'll just explain it to you better by showing it to you. Okay, so I'm back. So if you're looking for a multi-cart and you're really low on cash for uh, the NES, then go with the Japanese version, but you're going to need an adapter. But you should have that adapter already because Japanese games are more cheaper, so you should have that adapter a long time ago. So, I got this for about $17. You see how it has that um, reflective sticker? I love that. It looks ghetto and cool at the same time, but I love it. So, the cart is not in here. It is in here with an adapter. So, it's pretty heavy. And uh, I made the sticker myself. Just really, really fast. And it's a good cart. So we'll go over this one as well, which is Pocket Games, 150 and 1. And you can see just on the actual little cover here, you got some pretty cool games. Mega Man, which is really cool for them. You got uh, Ghostbusters, your um, Adventure Island. I think that is Vania, which is Castlevania. Some G.I. Joe there. And then something um, right here, Ninja. I don't even think that's part of the games, but <clears throat> you know how those Chinese do it. You gotta love them too for that. So then we go on to this, and I found this a uh, while back at a swap meet, indoor swap meet. And uh, I thought we'd go over this real quick with the Game Boy. Another one that I got cheap. If you're gonna buy something, buy it in um, Japanese. It's a lot cheaper than American. And this was significantly cheaper. I think I only paid $17 and the American version, which was kind of beat up, was about $25. And they both work the same. There's no uh, region problems. So, uh, you see that? So it's got some pretty good games just, just on the actual. So it says Game Boy Color 38 and 1. We'll have to see if that's real or not. Which is probably not. So... Let's go ahead and get started, and I think we'll start off with this one, as a matter of fact. This is a good game to start off with, so uh, let's go ahead and check it out. And we'll be using my uh, my Sony um, display here to uh, show you guys, and we'll be doing all the gameplay off of the Retro Trio. It doesn't have a 6x9 switch, and unfortunately... This uh, tell display doesn't let me change the format, so I am pretty much um, asked out. 
when it comes to trying to get it to come in four by three. So we'll be stuck in um, six by nine, but that's okay. We're just checking these out. We're not looking at image quality. We're just checking everything out. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, uh, I'll go ahead and um, load this up for you guys. So give me one second. So I'm sorry. So unfortunately, I couldn't get this guy to load up. Um, for some reason, it doesn't want to accept it when I have played it before, but it's a really cheap card, I guess. I don't know. I didn't buy it online. Um, it did, it does work with my, um, SP. We'll go ahead and check that out later, maybe. I don't know. So I jumped right into the 101 for the Super Nintendo, and, uh, let's go ahead and get the control here. Alright. So the, these are all the cool games you get right here the actual um cart has no music or anything while you're digging around through the games but you can see that the games are pretty decent not too bad here got a pretty good selection very good selection And that's all 100. So uh, let's go ahead and check one out. Uh, Mega Man X or 7. Let's go ahead and try this X one. And uh, I'll go ahead and get rid of the light. Uh, wow, instant load up. Hurry up and get to the game here. And once again, guys, I'm sorry that it has to be in 6x9, but this console is not equipped with a 6x9 switch, although I do have other televisions that allow me to change the aspect ratio while in HDMI, but not this display. So, so far everything looks good. We'll go ahead and put the sound up. Um, everything sounds pretty good so far. Mega Man's definitely not my strong point in video games. To tell you the truth, I never even played this game really. I, I love Mega Man, but I always love watching other people play. This is not a game that I play. Well, just lost that life. But I have gave it a shot. Yeah, so let's go ahead and press reset. So it does work and it runs pretty good. Um, we'll go into another one here. It does come with Castlevania. So let's go into that. And, uh, oh wow, it comes with two. So you get uh, Castlevania Dracula X. And then I believe the other one is Super Castlevania. Let's try to fix that for you guys. So it is stretched and it looks like crap because the way I'm trying to film it, ghetto style. But then again, we're, we're really just trying to see what's on these cards and if they run any good for the price. They're about 40 bucks. 35 is what I got this one for. But with the taxes, you know, it's like a rough 40 almost. And uh, I have had these cards for months, months already. I actually did a review on them uh, about a year ago almost on my other channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
pretty good cart and uh, the games run pretty decent too and they look good too it's uh they didn't go and like try to use a filter on these games or everything's pretty good so wait a minute i wanted to go into super castlevania it's taking kind of long i will hurry up come on come on And I'll tell you, it does run good. Runs great. Only thing it's missing is some scan lines. Yeah, it really can't get that any better. You can see that runs great. So we'll go ahead and give it a shot. One more game. One more game. Let's see. What do we got here? Hmm. Where's a wild guns or something? Wow, it even has undercover cops. This is another good game. Not very uh, popular, but a good game. For the SNES. It is an arcade game, like Knights of the Round. Come on, come on. I'm trying to hurry up here. I don't want the video to get too long. We'll go jump into the NES games right now. And that's going to be a pretty long list, so we'll, we'll have to go through that. That's why I can't take too long. So I'm going to tell you one thing. This, uh... Well, I have the buttons wrong here. See, it looks good too. It looks pretty decent. So let's go ahead and try the NES card out now. So let's try this one out. Okay, so it's loaded up and we're greeted with this here. Um, screen. I don't think I can control the. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to. Oh, there we go. So I'm still controlling it with the wireless controller. Still. Man, this got a lot of games. So I'll go ahead and go through it. And it does look pretty decent enough for you guys to read them. You can always pause and. Check to see what you are missing if you didn't get to see it now. And I really got this one for the like Atari games. Not really the NES Atari version games. Not really the actual. I didn't get it because it's a good cart. Uh, I would say that it has some decent games, but there's a lot missing here. There's a lot like all the really really good ones are missing. So I don't really recommend this cart unless you have a lot of the newer cards that have like Mega Man and all all of the Castlevania then this one will be cool to uh, it'll fill in where you're missing and you can see there's a lot of games on here that are like pretty lay not a uh, laid-back games they're like laid-back you know
and I have messed around with the cart. It does run good. I haven't had any problems with it. It's always ran when I asked it to and done what it done what it's told. So uh, if you go here, we'll go to Ninja Turtles 2, you know? Press start and it should load almost immediately. Yes, it does. See, that's what I like about these. But if you got a really good uh, EverDrive, it'll do the same thing now. But I'm not in, I'm not one of those people who uh, has to have the best ever drive. And if it works, I'm cool. But I will try to get sometimes better. But uh, this is what I use for my Super Nintendo, and it works pretty good. And I had it for about two years, three years almost. Pretty good. So once again, I'm playing, and I'm playing the trio. We're using the Super Retro Trio. I'm using my wireless controller, you can see. So that's pretty cool that you get to play NES with the wireless controller, although it's not an NES controller. But if I go ahead and um, pop in an NES controller, it will work. So everything looks pretty cool, how it looks decent. Next game. We'll go ahead and try another one real quick. Oh, Final Mission, that's another good one. Sorry about the, the glare, guys. I'll go ahead and show the light and uh, fix the. <laughs> that was fast. I was too busy trying to help it focus, but it ran good. <clears throat> So you got your console right here. Here's another great game right here that is not too laid back. These are more of the, this is a decent one. Right? You'll have fun with this one. Of course, it's a classic, you know, Jackal. So here we go. Sounds pretty decent. And overall, it runs good. So let's go ahead and get to the next game. Let's go ahead and get to the next multi-cart, which will be the 150 in one. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So we'll be popping in this one next. All right, so this is what you need with. I'll go ahead and get rid of the glare. So this is the 150 in one, the one that I converted into an American version with the um, Famicom to NES converter and uh, it looks really really good it looks a whole lot better when you don't got it stretched like this uh, that sucks that Retrobit didn't put the switch on here to make it into 4x3 but oh wow so I'll go ahead and go over these for you guys and uh, I believe this one, this cart is a must. If you really got a budget, you, you'll love this. Even if you buy the American one, you'll love it. It's great. It has all the good games on here. Not all of them, but it, it does come with a decent amount. Even Mega Man. Uh, that's the reason why I got it. For Mega Man, so I can practice my Mega Man skills. And I never did get around to it. Once again, you can see a whole lot, of, a whole lot of great games here. Uh, no repeats, no repeats on any of these parts. And we're almost coming up to the last of the list here.
even as gun games just in case you have the gun and we'll go ahead and go into um, Mega Man 5 no we'll go into Mega Man 6 press start loads up instantly go ahead and try to fix this for you guys come on come on let's go ahead and start music sounds decent picture looks great and I definitely recommend this card. So you, if you see the pocket games in the American version, you might want to get it. Or if you have the converter, you might want to try the Japanese version. It's cheaper. Very good game. You just press reset. Goes right back to the beginning here. And you start all over again. And uh, there's one that I wanted to Play. Just, just the last one real quick. I don't want the video to get too long, but this is a great card. Um, you seen that even had your um, Donkey Kong there. Um, where is it? Where is that? Well, the game that I'm looking for is Sword Master, but I can't find it. But it is in here. It is. It just doesn't want to be found. And uh, here's Batman too. Let's go ahead and roll that up. Instant loading, pretty good. Pretty good on the loading time. Games look good, they don't sound funny. Um, everything seems to be running pretty decent. And uh, that's pretty much it for this part. But you can see, it looks great. Yeah, I'm sorry for the video being long, but man, these carts take a long time to try to review, or try to show. But yeah, this, this cart I definitely must, it's called Pocket Games, definitely worth it. So I thought we'd give this one more shot, so I'll pop it in here and see what we get. Going into the SP here, backlit. Still nothing. Hmm. And it used to work. I don't know. Maybe the battery on it needs to be put in again or something new. But no. I got nothing. And I bought this for $15. And it uh, looks like it doesn't work anymore. Or the maybe it has a battery that has to be. Nope. Nothing. Well, so that's pretty much it then with this video. And uh, these are the cards that we took a look at today. So you might want to try to pick these up whenever you see them. The red ones. 501 for the NES. And then the SNES is uh, 100 in one. And then we've got this guy here, which is... 150 in one, but it really looks like this. It's the pocket games 150 in one for the NES and This garbage didn't work. So stay away from these or maybe it's just mine. I don't know your own risk So thanks a lot for watching and like always keep getting